Hello friends, uh, the idea behind making this particular video is to explain you the concept of portfolio attribution analysis. I'm sure most of you know the fact that every portfolio is benchmarked against a particular index. So basically there is a benchmark available against which the portfolio performance can be analyzed. So in a scenario when a portfolio outperforms a benchmark how can we analyze that outperformance suppose a portfolio has given a return of 12 percent while the benchmark has given a return of 10 percent the portfolio has outperformed the benchmark by two percent now how will we find out the reason behind this two percent additional return so port portfolio attribution analysis helps us to understand that excess return generated by portfolio or a different return generated by portfolio than benchmark through an attribution analysis. Now in attribution analysis, we have uh, three components. One, what we call as the allocation effect. So what is allocation effect? Allocation effect means how you have allocated your investments into different assets and how that has contributed to difference in the return let me give you an example here you can see that there is a fund which has decided to put 75 percent in equity 15 percent in fixed income and 10 percent in money market while the benchmark has a different allocation which is 50 percent in equity 30 percent in fixed income and 20 percent in money market now this difference in the allocation of assets is measured by allocation effect so allocation effect explains a part of the difference then we have the selection effect selection effect means that how do we you know measure the excess return generated or a different return generated because of selection of the securities which means equity fixed income money market these different securities being selected uh, is what will explain this and the final thing is what we call as the interaction effect interaction effect is the outcome of allocation and selection effect right so these three factors we will try to learn through this particular exercise which is uh, kind of shown here to you so let us see the various factors which are available here so just to understand this entire thing okay let me uh, tell you that we have the detailed description of a fund and a benchmark and two things are there one the weightages of both of them and the return of both of them which we will use to find out uh, what is the uh, reason for difference in portfolios return compared to the benchmark return so let us first find out what is the return that the fund has generated so we will first look at the fund return so what return has the fund generated we will we are going to first find that out and that's easy to find so fund return and this is a spelling error so i would like to rectify it so fund return is weightage multiplied by the return of the fund plus weightage multi which is weightage of fixed income multiplied by the return of fixed income plus weightage of money market multiplied by the return of money market so we got the fund return as 6.35 now how do we get the benchmark return the same method we are going to use but this time we are going to use the different uh, you know benchmark weights and benchmark returns so the calculation is weightage of equity plus return of equity or multiplied by return of equity plus weightage of fixed income multiplied by return given by fixed income plus weightage of money market multiplied by return given by a benchmark so we get a value of benchmark return as 3.51 one so what is the difference the difference works out to be between the two as this minus this now this difference of 2.84 is what we will understand 
through portfolio attribution analysis why this 2.84 came so the first part is allocation effect so to find out the allocation effect we have to first find out the difference in the weights so what is the difference in the weight of both uh, you know the uh, fund as well as the benchmark so the difference in the weight is this minus this so the weight difference for all three assets are as follows so once you have find out the weight difference in the weight you can find out what is called as the allocation effect so how do we find out the allocation effect to find out the allocation effect we will use the formula which is very simple the formula is what i am typing here difference in the weights for each of the asset equity fixed income and money market multiplied this has to be multiplied this particular value has to be multi multiplied with the return that we have got from the benchmark so this is the return that we have got from the benchmark plus this multiplied by the return that we have got from the benchmark plus this multiplied by uh, uh, my my apologies we will have to do it again so difference in the weight multiplied by the benchmark return plus difference in the weight multiplied by the benchmark return plus difference in the weight multiplied by benchmark return so we got a value of 1.245 which is because of these two differences let me highlight this so that you can you know have this this very clearly so the allocation effect is coming because of these two factors these two factors together are giving us the allocation effect and that is what i have calculated here okay now the next thing to calculate is what we call as the selection effect now what is selection effect so we will uh, just work on selection effect and we will see how the selection effect comes so to find out selection effect we will have to find out one more value which is difference in this time not weight but difference in returns so return difference is what we will have to find out so how do we find out the return difference return difference is fund return minus the benchmark return so this gives us the return difference and we have found the return difference here so all the return differences have come now once we have the return differences available okay then we will find out the selection effect so how to find out the selection effect so selection effect is this multiplied by the benchmark return sorry bench benchmark weightage plus the return difference multiplied by the benchmark weightage plus the return difference multiplied by the benchmark weightage now we have got the second factor which is 1.19 which is what that is what we call as the selection effect now what about the interaction effect so interaction effect has to be now found out because uh, interaction effect should also be there and the sum total should be equal to the difference right so how do we find out the interaction effect so even before that okay let me tell you that if you want to know how did we find out the selection effect we took into consideration the difference in the return which i will highlight by a different marker and the benchmark return so this gave us these two green colors have given us what is called as the selection effect so so to be very precise this is my allocation effect so the allocation effect that i got i got from this and this is my selection effect the selection effect that i have got is from this particular calculation so now you can clearly see that uh, you know what is causing the allocation effect and what is causing the selection effect to find out selection effect work on this to find out allocation effect work on the other two so first these two values for allocation and these two values for selection. now the third value is interaction effect so how do we find out the interaction effect the interaction effect it will be calculated as follows so interaction effect is multiplication of difference in the weight return difference in the return and then what you do is that you or rather let me do it here what we have to do is we have to do is this multiplied by this right so we got the number 
this is our interaction effect we take it till end okay and then we sum it up once we sum it up we will get the interaction effect so how much is the interaction effect interaction effect is this much now what we will do is that we will see if the difference is matching or not so if the difference is matching then we have done our job well so this plus this plus this so how much did we get 2.84 what was the difference 2.84 so now you get to know what is the portfolio attribution analysis portfolio attribution analysis can be assigned to three factors allocation selection and interaction effect this spelling was horribly wrong so i will correct it so that you know uh, there is not no confusion with the interaction effect, right so i hope this video has made sense for you do not forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel thank you